This is my Seaberg 3W1 wall box that I just acquired. Exterior is in pretty good condition. I've got the 3W1 wall box opened up. Just trying to determine what's missing. Looks like the uh, transformer originally was probably riveted on here. It had this, uh, this lock originally when I got it, but I didn't have the key and the, uh, the little pin was not attached to this rod over here, so it wasn't functioning anyway. So I removed it and I ordered a new one. Well, not a new one, but an original one. See a socket there. I think it might illuminate this area. I'm not quite sure. There's no bulb there. And here's another socket. I think this probably illuminates that little window right there. And someone had mentioned that these keys are illuminated or should be illuminated. I'm not really sure by what method. I'm not, you know, unless it was removed. And this is the mechanism. I guess it spins around and it hits these little contacts and it creates the signal that gets sent back to the main jukebox. I'm not really sure if the coin mechanism is intact or not. I mean, I can't really tell if there's anything missing. A little connection block here. Looks like there's there should be, I'd imagine, wires connected to these terminals. I'm not sure. I'll know when I when I get the manual in. And then this is looks like the, just the table stand. It looks like it's just attached with these two flatheads here. And then you can hang it on the wall. But yeah, I'm just trying to determine what's missing, what's needed. I mean, it looks like it's in nice condition anyway. I mean, you know, I got the cover. I took that off for inspection. Yeah. The coin box. Instructions on how to oil. This looks like a fabric sticker. It's neat. And then here's the uh, little booklet. got two sockets here no bulbs in them and then these from what I understand they're supposed to be spring-loaded pages are supposed to snap back I imagine that there's a little the screw one one end of the spring gets attached to these little holes and then the other end maybe hooks onto this rod I'm not quite sure but it's interesting, the power gets run through here and it has this little contact. And that contact probably hits, maybe it hits that thing. Looks like it would hit this thing right here. That gives it the power. And here's the, uh, the front cover. It's in pretty nice shape. I ordered a new, new instruction cover because this one's pretty worn out and then this this feels like 
plastic to me. So I'd like to get an original glass one or a reproduction glass one if it's available. But yeah, that's it.